what is going on guys welcome back to american truck simulator today i'm actually very happy to announce that i have my hands on a brand new kenworth w990 series truck now i actually have not heard of this truck until i saw a mod being in production of it and it is actually now released i'll have a link down in the description below for it made by frank peru it's a free mod and I gotta say, it looks absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. Like I said, I have never even heard of this truck. Um, but I guess it's Kenworth's brand new model. Um, it's a 2018 truck, just came out last year. And it looks freaking badass. The 900 series Kenworths are amazing. They're big, mean, tough-looking trucks. And this one just looks big, mean, and tough. Kind of basically how it is. But we're going to be working for Oculus Transport LTD. Um, I was planning on doing a stream with this truck uh, the other night. But then I decided I needed videos for Friday because I haven't uploaded in a while. So I decided to do a dual upload. And then I'm going to have a stream with this truck this weekend. But let's go ahead and start this baby up. Oh yeah. Lights work. Everything. I like it. It's a very nice truck. Here's a look at the interior. Look at that. That looks awesome freaking nice but we have to actually get going i can't dwell over the truck a little bit but what's cool is look at the parking brake parking brakes released you got a kenworth logo or applied when you release it you got the different screen which is nice that's actually really cool so we're actually gonna get into gear here but check out the truck guys got ourselves a little cb radio up there there's a whole bunch of different customization options which i'll show you guys here um after the video or after we get our run but I do have to go get our uh, trailer so we don't arrive late or lose it so we're gonna take a, a little run from Ontario to Lakeview so we're actually just heading back down to uh, Oregon now, I didn't want to make too long of a run just because I kind of wanted to get used to the truck and whatnot but look at this it's a sleeper there's actually a working TV in the back of the truck as well which I have never seen in this game before and it just looks fucking awesome. So let's actually head on on the roadway here. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a brand new truck. So this is actually Kenworth's 2018 lineup of trucks. So it's very brand new. Um, and it just looks fantastic. Yeah, like I said, I'll show you guys the different customization options um, here once we get on the road. Um, once we get to our destination and whatnot. Sorry about that guys, I had no idea why, but my game was kind of lagging on slobs. Not the game, but the uh, slobs recording was kind of lagging. So I do apologize if it does lag in the video, but god damn this truck just looks so good. This looks really, really good. But as you can see, we're hauling 59,580 pounds of house prefabs to the Centex out in Lakeview. Um, we're going to waste no time in this truck today. Already did our tug tests and everything. I do, so I do apologize if the game does lag a little bit in the video. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I really don't. But I did not realize I put two GPSs in this truck. But, oh well. Nothing wrong with having two GPSs. But yeah, this truck is just amazing. Like, it just looks badass. It looks mean. It looks tough. It sounds badass, too. So we're going to make a left hand turn out of here and we'll get on our way with our house prefabs. But yeah, like I did say, I am going to do a stream with this truck this weekend as well. Just to show it off and show off like the different options and whatnot. Just because I feel like this truck deserves to be used a few different times other than like what I normally do is I'll do one and I'll delete the truck and then I'll wait to use it again. So I feel like this truck needs to be used a few different times. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to start slowing down here for that 25. Yeah, I do apologize if the video does lag. Um, I, Like I said, I honestly don't know why it is. It was working just fine with uh, Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR earlier. Like about 10 minutes before I started recording this. I restarted my PC and everything, so I don't know. I really don't know. So I do apologize for that, but I did want to show off the truck, so I mean... I kind of had to, kind of had to, but let's go ahead and make a right hand turn over here. But it seems to be going good now, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it as well, so 
Seems to be working just fine. Gonna take our, uh... Gonna have to go slowly with our, uh, animations here. That's a nice Volvo, though. That is a nice day cab Volvo. I'd go, but then that car behind him's not turning, so... That's the one disadvantage of being in a giant-ass truck. Okay, yeah, we're not ready to go. That's the one disadvantage of being in, like, a giant-ass truck is that you have to wait for traffic more so than you would with a uh, regular four-wheel car. Kind of sucks. There's one of the new trailers I threw in. It's a grain hauler. 53-footer grain hauler. Five axles for some unknown reason. Oh, my Lord. That, that looks natural right there with that Peterbilt. So much fucking traffic. Good lord. There's a Mack truck, it looks like. I feel like this is the Charger. This is the last car that we have to deal with. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, make it finally a right hand turn. Alright, because we're making a left up here, it looks like. So. But yeah, as I was saying, this is a whole brand new truck. It's part of Kenworth's 2018 lineup. Um, I'll actually have a link down to Kenworth's uh, YouTube channel in the description below if you guys want to see videos of the new truck. Because like I said, I had no idea this was even a thing until I saw Frank it on Frank Peru's um, website. I thought this was like a mythical truck, like uh, something that just kind of he designed on his own. But no, it's a legit truck that's out there. I've never seen one personally, but I'm pretty sure that they're really expensive. Um, knowing it being brand new, I'm pretty sure it's really expensive for this truck. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be seeing too many out on the roadway soon. But I don't know. I don't know. It's a nice, it's, it's a nice truck, that's all I'm going to say. Let me just turn here. Yeah, I don't know. See, as you can see, the video's kind of lagging. I don't know. I really don't, but I do need to. Get, I do want to get a video of this truck out, so I do apologize for the little bit of a laggy video. Don't hate me, please. Don't hate me for it being a little bit too laggy. I mean, it's decent now. It's just whenever we come to like a area with a lot of um, AI, it just drops. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. We're about 243 miles out from our destination. So not that bad of a trip, honestly. We're going 45 out of 55, but I mean with this truck, we can probably push 55. Most definitely we can push 55. But yeah, I do want to apologize for the lack of uh, uploads the last couple days. Um, as you probably saw in my YouTube post, I had some schedule changes at work so went from a mid to a closing manager this weekend or this whole week so yeah so all my plans were kind of ruined this week which kind of sucks but it's life shit happens nothing I can really do about it yeah, I don't understand why the video is so fucking laggy though hold on I'm going to try something real quick, and then I'll get back on here. We're just going to pull off right here real quick, set the parking brake. I'm going to try something, and we'll get back. So I went ahead and restarted the computer, see if that will fix it, and I found out the doors open on this truck. And then you turn on the truck, and it shuts. That's honestly pretty fucking cool. I've never seen that before. But as you can see, it is still lagging, and I don't understand why. Um, I feel like it's the truck. But I do apologize for the big lag and everything. I'm just going to go before anybody else goes. I, I do apologize for the lag. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said, I just restarted my computer, so this is on a fresh, like, nothing running computer, basically. But then as we get out of the area where there's, like, heavy cars and stuff, it becomes fun. So I don't know if it's just because this truck is too damn um, 
high poly or what whatnot. I really don't know. But that's what I'm assuming since it's really laggy. So if you guys do download this truck and you are having the same like lagging issues, let me know because it's not lagging in game, it's just Streamlabs is making it lag in those certain locations. But like now it's somewhat okay. So I don't know. I really don't know. It's not smooth whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't want to go through this whole episode with this lagging. Like this, so I don't know. This is honestly irritating the hell out of me. It seems to be working fine now, but then... I, I really don't know. I don't know. I say just stay out of major cities because it seems to be fun now. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. If it lags, it lags. It's not the end of the world. But as I was saying, um, ended up having mid shifts all week. I was like 9 to 6 on Wednesday, Friday, and I was off Thursday. But I have to go ahead and change that due to a co-worker's wife getting sick. So now I'm actually doing a 12 to 9 uh, Wednesday, Friday. So a little bit of a fun time. So like I said, all my plans that I had throughout the week are canceled, basically, to accommodate that. So, uh, yeah. But yeah. So, uh, so that's why the content has been kind of lacking this past couple days was because of that because I had planned the record on days and then next thing you know it's just not happening <laughs> and I also had planned the stream and then next thing you know it's not happening yeah I don't understand the lagging issues going on with this truck today or if it's just stream labs or whatnot I don't know I do apologize for the lagging I've, I've tried everything I possibly can. There's nothing I can do. My only thing is to lower... Cause I'm wondering if it's the truck. But the game is just working just fine. It's just the video's lagging. So. I don't know. Because I haven't changed any settings in ATS. It's just literally the, the same that they've been. So yeah. I really don't know. I don't know. But the truck looks nice as fuck, though. Just look at that. I'm noticing the front wheel doesn't turn how it's technically supposed to. That's kind of an issue. Oh, that one is. But yeah, it still looks nice. That truck just looks really nice. I'm actually going to get back in the cab here and actually drive this fucking thing. Gotta got a rest area a mile up ahead. start slowing things down don't want to flip this truck I've seen too many videos of flip trucks in the past couple weeks or the past couple week or the past week due to those high winds and I don't want to have another episode of a flipped over truck so we'll slow down for these curves now we're about 169 miles away from our destination we've gone 106 miles in this truck already so you guys can see that it's a fairly new truck we just bought it um, not sure when the mod was actually released if it was released earlier This week or what or if it was just released yesterday. I don't know Like I said, it wasn't released when I checked it on Monday and then I Checked it on Thursday and it was released so I don't know I don't know but like I said if you guys want to check it out link is in the description below um, If you guys are having the same like issues with it while recording Let me know in the comments as well. So it's not just me because I don't have any issues with any other ATS episodes, just for some reason with this one. But I don't know. I... I don't know. I really don't. But yeah, guys, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. As well as, if you want, drop a comment. Um, I respond to all comments, so if you want to, go ahead and drop one. 
not forcing you to, but make sure you hit that like button. And if you're brand new and you are enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button as well. All trucks over 20,000 must die, and of course I have to pull in. God damn it. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you are enjoying. And we're going to pull in this way station here. Turn on our flashers, stop right there. Cool. Do that. 103,396 pounds. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we're going to have to wait on these bad boys to pass us. That's a nice Kenny right there. Come on. Come on, day cab. I want to go before anybody else comes. And as you can see, it's lagging right now. I don't understand. I really don't. I legit don't understand. I do do greatly apologize for it, but I do want to have an, an episode out with this truck, but I don't want to stream with it if it's just going to be laggy, so I do apologize for all you new people out there. My videos aren't usually this laggy. I just It's just this truck. Unless that's just uh, Streamlabs and the video's fine, I don't know. I really don't. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's what it is, but I could not really tell you. Could not tell you one bit. Yummy. Yummy. Making our right hand turn out here. Probably don't want any Jake break in the city, so we're not going to have a Jake break on. Just going to use a normal air brakes today. Alright, I guess he's letting me go. Cool. Appreciate it, boss. past the EO Walmart. It's a weird looking Walmart. Car zone. Supposed to be auto zone I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I don't know. If it's lagging I apologize. And maybe I'm just, I don't know. It just looks like it's lagging on slobs, and I don't know. I really don't. But I mean, the truck is looking nice, though. Finally, we're doing a night run. Normally, I don't care for night runs, but I'm just too into this truck that I just don't even care that we're doing a night run. Let's actually kind of see how the truck looks at night. Oh, that looks so nice. Speed limit 35, but I don't care. That truck just looks badass. Like, oh crap, we're in the wrong lane. I love the red markers it's got on the front there. And we have high beams as well. This looks cool. I'll actually hop back in the truck. Drink, drive, lose. That is correct. You're going to lose. Either There's going to be two ways you either lose. You either die or you get arrested. One of the two. One of the two. I do actually like the glow the truck's got. As you can see, the glow from the GPS. I like that. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever noticed that or seen it in ATS before, which is not, which is really nice. But yeah, like I said, this truck does have a few different customization options. Um, it's more so just um, like exterior customizations, not too much interior, but they're is a little bit of interior options. Um, like I said, there's that TV. There's three different spots for a GPS that can go. Um, you can choose different steering wheels and whatnot. So, so all in all, it's a pretty sweet truck. The uh, Frank Peru did an awesome job on it, and I honestly can't wait for that new truck that he's coming out with. I believe it was an in, in international. I don't. Rem I don't really remember. I just briefly saw it, but I can't wait for it. Like, I couldn't wait for this one to come out. I was kind of constantly checking it daily to see if it was released, if it was released, and 
Sadly, it wasn't up until today, so I'm like, I knew I had to do something with it. So, and here we are, making a video with it. Here we go to Lake View on 395 South. Boom, boom, boom. Don't care about that little bussy bus. He can make his right hand turn. If I was making my left hand turn, he could make his right hand turn. Of course. There you go. There you go. Good thing I stopped or else we would have fucking hit that dude. Good thing I was looking in my mirror. We would have hit him. Luckily he backed up, so that's good for us, but fuck. I think he was legit stopped the whole time. I don't really know. I think he was. But luckily we stopped in time. But what's actually also cool about this truck is that it's got um 24 hour format time, which is nice. But yeah, it's basically like if you go flip through the screens, it's all like the same default SCS stuff like your water temperature, oil temp, fuel, distance, all that fun stuff. Nothing really has changed on that. But we are getting fault but we are being followed by a car, so I'm assuming they're probably gonna pass us here soon. Since we are in a uh, big rig, but damn those are some bright ass high beams, holy shit. Can't really turn them on because there's so many cars coming on coming there'd be no point in having your high beams on. I guess maybe after these two, because I don't see another car. So we got 65 speed limit. I'm pretty sure this old girl can handle it. I guess I should say new girl could handle it. It is a brand new truck. I love that teal glow from the that from the uh, CB rear there. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, flip off the high beams. We ain't blinding nobody. Target truck. Awesome, 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 awesome. I still got another target trailer or a target stories thing to do. I might actually use this truck to do that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that when it when it uh, comes to it. We got about let's see, we got about 72 miles left to go to our destination. We're coming up on these curvy roads, so I'm gonna start slowing down for them. Just because I don't want to be breaking this truck or um, breaking this truck, wrecking this truck. I feel like if I wreck this truck, manager, boss man's going to hate me for life. Even though I'm my own owner operator for the company. Boss man's going to hate me for it because we borrowed his truck. So, we don't want to injure the truck. We don't want to wreck the truck. We want to keep the truck in one piece as well as the trailer because we're hauling something pretty important for somebody's new house. So, you want to keep that in one piece. You really just want to keep it in one piece. So, I mean, it kind of sucks that nobody can pass us just because of the double yellow. But, hey, shit happens. You get stuck behind a truck, you get stuck behind a truck. Big whoop. Customer expects delivery soon. Blah, blah, blah. I understand, officer. But I also have to navigate these curvy roads with double trailer a long ass truck so I mean hell shit happens Tesla I don't see why they don't use Tesla trucks to haul the Tesla trailers I mean I don't have the Tesla truck in but that'd be kind of funny so I mean we're getting close to our destination anyway so I mean I'm not too worried about getting there on time because we are technically probably going to be there on time anyway so I ain't too completely worried about it Oh god. And there we go. Oh shit. Yep. 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 I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Yep. Oh well. 
That, that door opening though is just fucking cool. Okay, I'm not gonna repair the truck because I just want to get to my destination on time. No, we're not gonna get there on time. I just want to get to my destination. Boss band's gonna hate me, but I don't care at this point. I fucking knew I was gonna flip the goddamn truck on that curve. I knew it. Oh well. Oh well. We'll be fine. And it was a brand new truck too. I can never have an ATS episode where I don't crash. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. To turn onto this road. This is legitimately gonna be a pain in the ass. I can't really see where my trailer's swaying to either. So I mean, we haven't hit anything, so I'm pretty sure we're fine. But I feel like we're gonna be very late to our delivery, which. I saw coming honestly. I was waiting for the wreck and I knew there was going to be a wreck and it's just not a Yo Adrian America Truck Simulator video without a wreck. Oh god, here comes another one. It's kind of hard to see that fucking curve, like good lord. The one thing I hate about driving at night with like lights like this where you can barely see, you can't really see where you're turning into, like a curve or whatever, if it's like one of those like sharp curves. I'm assuming I come in through, no, come in through here, I'm assuming. Yep. Sentex, alright. Had a little issues along the way, but we're good now. Blow that puppy in right there. Got ourselves a long ass truck today, so. No, not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, back it up. There we go. Put on that parking brake. Hit T. See what we got. We're gonna be late, I know it. Yeah, we're late. Oh well. Blah blah blah. Damage penalty. Late penalty. Shit happens. Shit happens. Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.